uh, before we get into the Nelson Peltz, because this is exactly the kind of story that Nelson Peltz is coming back for. Uh, and, and I know this seems a little odd. Like, why would you know, what does Loki have to do with Peltz? This is the kind of shenanigans, <laughs> in my opinion, yeah. uh, that 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 we are dealing with with Disney because hey, um, it's back. So Disney comes out with this story today. Loki season two. This is an actual, if you're looking on the screen, if you don't recognize what this is, this is the actual Walt Disney Company press release. This is Disney corporate. This isn't freaking, you know, a, a screen rant or some other off the wall garbage website. This is Disney itself. Loki season two is the second most viewed season premiere on Disney Plus this year, this year, with 10.9 million views after three days. After three days. Um, that seems <laughs> odd to me because they just, they just about a month ago released the same press release on this same website about Ahsoka claiming 14 million global views on the first episode, and people had confusion about this. Well, that was the they, they had two episodes that released. No, 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 no. Disney specifically referenced the 14 million views they marked for Ahsoka was for the first episode only. Um, but that was launch date plus five days because Ahsoka launched on a Tuesday in the evening. Loki launched on a Thursday evening. So they measured this with Loki. Thursday through Sunday, and they measured Ahsoka Tuesday through Sunday. So here's where we are. They're saying that this show is the second most viewed season premiere behind only, guess what, this year, Mando season three. The problem with this statement, of course, is that we have no way to verify what Disney is claiming because Disney, unlike Ahsoka and Loki season two, Never made a statement on Mando season three premiere. Right, right. Mm -hmm. They so they, they keep that very close to the chest. Do you want to know the Nielsen numbers for that first week of Mandalorian? Go ahead. Eight hundred and twenty-three million minutes, but that of course includes uh, the other sixteen episodes of the Mandalorian that were probably watched in that week um, leading yep. up to. Uh, uh, yeah, people went back and rewatched that Luke Skywalker came back episode like thirty-seven times a piece. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, again, this is look, and they're all doing this. Netflix is doing the same kind of thing. The way Disney is measuring this. And I want to keep reminding folks, it should be down here. Here we go. Just like Ahsoka, a view is defined as total stream time divided by available runtime. What Disney is saying is this is the total amount of minutes around the entire world that watched the Loki season two premiere from Thursday night when it came out through Sunday mm -hmm. divided by the available runtime of that first episode, which was 45 minutes. So this is um, how they come up with okay. 10.9 million views. Now Netflix is doing this the same way. Netflix has been putting out hours that were consumed globally for shows for quite a while. So now they're giving us view counts but they're not really giving us any new information. They're giving us view counts based on the total hours that were watched divided by the available runtime for the whole thing. Right. It and doesn't, I it doesn't give us any uh uh you know real boiled down numbers in terms of how many individual people watch the show. And that's many, what I was going to say. There isn't any granularity into that. No. It's just a black box. Guess what? We have all these minutes divided by the runtime okay well what's in the box you know is it right how many people watched it in this region how many people watched it in that region how many people watched it for 30 seconds and popped out how many people did you force to watch because they had to watch the ads that were embedded into it how many, how people, many people watched it 10 times <laughs> yeah. How yeah. many people happen to be at a server farm in uh, the middle of Indonesia and uh, are forced to watch it <laughs> Do do Lorraine, do you want to take a guess at why Disney and Netflix and other studios out there for their streaming services may not want to release actual numbers of views? Ooh, <laughs> well, one, uh, they do not want you to see behind the curtain. 
That's true. But there, there's a more apparent reason, I think, in recent months based on certain uh, labor market issues. Oh, residual Rider strike. payments. Rider yes, strike. exactly, hey. Lorraine. That's it. Uh, so if writers and actors are going after streamers, especially for residuals based on the number of views, what's the last thing these studios actually want to put out into the public ether? The number of people that really watch the shows. Right. Uh, so because, you want to that that obfuscate that information. Uh, 20%, right? The, it's supposed to be 20% of people subscribe to the streaming service, and that's the threshold at which you get a, uh, a larger payout for the WGA. Yeah. So, yeah. by the way, 50 million people, right? That's the, the number in the United States, 50 million subscriptions to Disney Plus in the United uh, States? Well, it's not. No, no, no. I don't think it ever reached as high as 50. It's, it's at about 44 right now. Okay. I believe. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. it's Hulu that's at 50. Yes, yes. Hulu is who Hulu, yeah, Hulu more is. correct. Hulu is more popular. This is why Disney wants to get the rest of Hulu because it is a very lucrative monster. Yes. Uh this is uh, the the ridiculous idea here, of course. The these these metrics and this doesn't say anything about Loki necessarily, but they're going to use this metric for shorter series. This favors Disney's model uh because yeah. If you have a long series like Suits and somebody watches one minute of Suits, well, okay, that show was on for like 10 seasons. Right. Uh, and watching one min minute of Suits doesn't count as a view. Uh, <laughs> uh, you have to get a lot more people in order to, to watch it under that model. Loki had six episodes. Mm -hmm. So views count more on a low episode count, low uh, runtime show like Loki mm -hmm. versus something like Suits, which is killing the Netflix charts. I've been digging into those uh, Suits numbers recently, and they're very impressive, obviously. Obviously, yeah. it's the number one show in streaming. It's the number one show on streaming, maybe since they've been tracking streaming figures. But uh, this right here just 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 reads like affuscation to say, oh, it's, uh, it's it our is. second best of the year. Okay. Let me make it worse, though, Jonas, real quick, because I, I do need to grab these these super chats, these member things that came in that we've lost. We're getting them. I have them archived. I'm about to read them here imminently, folks. Hang tight. And then we're going to get to the Nelson Pelt stuff. Um, but this adds more color to this release by Disney. Streamers have slowly begun. This is from Variety have slowly begun to roll out more in-depth viewership information for their titles. Recently, Disney announced that the film Elemental pulled 26.4 million views in the first Ooh. five days on Disney Plus globally, with Little Mermaid pulling in 16 million in the same time frame. Let me repeat that. That is an L plus five. L plus five. Ahsoka's measurement for Disney Plus was an L plus five. That is launch date plus the following five days. And right. the reason why it's an L plus is because things like Ahsoka and Loki don't come out at midnight on Tuesday. They come out at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday and Thursday, respectively. So mm -hmm. they count that launch, the launch night, plus five or plus three. What have we been complaining about with Samba? is that the metrics didn't work because people keep shifting releases around. Like they're saying, oh, this show got this many views. This show got this many views. But it's like they measure this at three days, four days, five days, six days, seven days. It's all over the map. Mm -hmm. When we compare things on a relative scale here, uh, Elemental absolutely cleaned the clock of Ahsoka. Goodness. Elemental was a... Elemental is a movie that was in theaters that was viewed by lots of people. That movie legged out better than we expected. And we admitted, oh, we were wrong in our initial assessments. We thought that movie was going to totally tank. Now, did it make any money in theaters? No, it no. did not. <laughs> but it did far better than we expected it to do. And this is, I mean, it was almost 400 something million dollars globally which was very respectable considering some of the other trash that Disney has put in the theaters recently. 26.4 million views. The same exact algorithmic measurement by Disney in the same launch plus five days. Ahsoka got what? 14 million. Mm -hmm. Half, basically, of Elemental. It got less than Little Mermaid. With a similar... <laughs> That's what I'm looking at. Yeah. 
How does that happen? Th these were things that were in theaters. This was not like a new proprietary Disney Plus only exclusive Star Wars. You got to go watch this. Um, no, th they just bombed. This is it. Children's entertainment. Things like Bluey, which would have smoked Elemental. Yeah. Uh, Bluey and, and all this. I mean, th this is Disney's proprietary content is not driving anything. Hello, Nelson Peltz. Welcome aboard. So. <laughs> is he here? Because I would really love to talk to him. I would love to talk to him, <laughs> too. It's funny, you know, Jonas, you contacted Tryon Management Group not long ago asking yeah. for comments on Disney stock performance. This was like in the last month or two. I'm not kidding, folks. Uh, Jonas actually reached down to Tryon, and Tryon's response was that we're not prepared to make any statements yet on Disney. Well, they made their statement today, y'all. Uh, so um, <laughs> I mean, more five, statements are coming. Wow. Five times yeah. the statement they made last time. Yes. So this is me putting this into perspective. Um, do I think Disney is pulling shenanigans with numbers? No. I think they're deliberately trying to conceal what the real numbers are. They're not obligated by the SEC or anybody else to reveal what the real internal data is. Don't misunderstand me, folks. But it's obvious what Netflix and Disney are doing in this case. But we have to be real about this is that Ahsoka's numbers are bad and that Loki's numbers, I'm sorry, look even worse. To conceal Loki's 10.9, it's the second best behind Mando. The reason they're saying that is because Mando season three debuted on a Friday. Loki it debuted on a Thursday. Ahsoka debuted on a Tuesday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Think about it, guys. Uh, I mean, this is, look, you have to go back and look at a calendar to realize this is how Disney is packaging this bullshit. Make sure you're subscribed to Valiant Renegade and join us every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern for the live show.